Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Automate. In today's video, I will be sharing some tips and tricks of using Microsoft Power Automate. Number 11. Wait for window. If opening an application takes some time, we can use wait for window and focus it. Number 12. Focus window. Assuming you have multiple windows to process, use focus window to ensure you are working on the correct application. Number 13. Select tab in a window. To select different tabs in other window, you can use click action. However, you can do so by using a select tab in a window. Number 14. Select menu option in window. In order for me to clear this view, instead of I use two actions to click file and click clear fields, I can do so by using select menu option. Number 15. Focus text field and send keys. Assuming you want to do a loop to type a value followed by a tab, a populate text field doesn't allow you to add a shortcut keys. You can do so by using send keys. Over here, you will need to add an additional step to focus on the text field. In this case, the bot will go to others, focus this test field, and then it will type test and tap. Let's put a loop.
Number 16. Run Python script to validate email address format. First, I will set a variable of email address. I write a Python script to create a regex and a method to check email to actually validate if the email is valid or invalid and I call the method. Number 17. Run desktop flow. Assuming I have this set of validate email on a separate desktop flow, I can do so by calling a different desktop flow. Over here, I declare an input variable of my email address. Over here, I have an example of input variable of email address and an output variable of Python script and the script error. Number 18. Run JavaScript function on web page. Assuming after you launch a browser, you would like to scroll down to the XE Live Exchange rate to extract the data. Power Automate do not have a scroll down action. To do so, you can use a run JavaScript function on web page. Over here, I indicate the function and I declare to get the class name. How do I get the class name? Basically, I open the browser and I want to focus to this button so that when it's scroll here over here i will right click and i click inspect i get the class name here i copy and i paste it here then i get the value of x with an index of zero dot scroll into view Number 19. Extract data from web page. Over here, I would like to extract the euro, amount, and change. After you drag this action, you are required to select the browser that you would like to extract the data from. And then this pop-up will appear over here. We'll need to right click, extract element, right click, extract the text, and right click, extract the text as well over here. Then 
once you select the next row, it will automatically populate the rest of the row. You can then rename your column. You yeah, successfully extracted all the four rows. Number 20. Manage errors. Assuming you would like to do a try catch in Power Automate, they are using on block error over here. You can just indicate any name and then I will select continue flow run go to end block over here I'm trying to run a set of record however if I encounter any error within this page actions I would like to capture what is the error message to do this you can use get last error. We store into this variable. Assuming I want to do a click link on web page. Alright, to select any button here. But I disable this action. No, let's try to close the browser after it opens. Let me put a message box here. Okay, I'm going to close the browser now. And I got the last error message of click link on web page field. So if you're keen to learn more, do remember to subscribe our channel as we have constant updates and total videos on Microsoft Power Automate Desktop. Thank you.